You just want me to do it? Yeah. Really? Yep. You don't want to even try for it? Nah. Okay. Wait, That's... no, I do. Okay. <laughs> Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. What is that? Awful. Okay, you win. You can do it. Welcome to another MotuFigures.com video spotlight. Hey everybody, it's a uh, go green weekend here at the MotukeFigures.com video spotlights. Because we're handling two green figures in a row. We're doing... What? what are you doing over there? I don't know. <laughs> we had a couple of rough starts on this one. <laughs> I wonder if this is going to be like the... We did the... What was Evil it? Evil Lynn? Where we had like four tries and then mm -hmm. it was like this is the best one ever. Try. This will be our fourth try. So, maybe this will be, like, a great one, too. Or maybe not. Well, we don't have the funny accessories. We don't have the right? funny stuff, yeah. Oh, yeah, the funny accessories. Uh, well, we're doing two green figures in a row. Yep. We're doing Demo Man right now. Dominion. Can what? I name the other? Oh, sure, yeah, go ahead. The, uh, the Goddess. That's right. We're going to do the Goddess right after this. Uh, hopefully, we'll get a Demo Man tonight. This is Saturday. Um, and then Goddess will go up tomorrow. Yeah. If we can get them done in time. Hopefully, our um, Demo Man gets here by, like, Friday or something. I don't think it's going to be a Friday. Yeah. Let's let's talk about the Demo Man issues. First of all, all we have right now is our sub. Right. Um, the two I ordered on sale day still have not shipped. Uh, Blaze, you know, was very gracious and said, you know, since both he and Keaton won it, that I should take the, the sub one, and then he and Keaton came out at the same time. That way it's fair. And, um, well, if anybody got first, it should be the younger one. Exactly. Um, and, but then... If we, we had to do a review of it, so we couldn't exactly give it to Keaton. Um, I wouldn't mind borrowing your for a review, but... So anyway, the whole gist of the story is, is that Blaze and Keaton are going to hold off. That way we can, this review can happen, and that way they can have them at the same time. Right. So in case you're like, James, why don't you give them the Demo Man first? Well, I have to have two Demo Mans because i got to be treat both kids fairly, right? Yeah. Um, anyway, so the whole thing with the Demo Man, not shipping on time and stuff, is just a big mess, man. It's a huge mess. They don't have him in time, they delay Evil in, then they ship some of the subs, but they don't ship them all, they don't ship any of the day of sale stuff, and there's no notification to people. Right. It's just, they post this real quick thing on Facebook that says, we're aware of the situation, we're looking into it, and that's it. What if you don't have Facebook? Wait, did your second Evil Lynn get here yet? Yeah, she came with this. Oh. Uh, yeah. She's using the water. She's using the water. She's not using water now. So, yeah, so it's just a big mess, man. I mean, what a big debacle for this figure. But, and I know this doesn't help a lot to say this, he is worth the wait because this figure is awesome. Yeah. Other thing we should address real quick is the color. You know, when, when they showed the prototype, it was sort of a dingier, darker green, mm -hmm. and then it became more of a brighter green. And I got really worried when I saw the review pics because it was a really bright, bright like, green. I did not like that bright, bright, bright. I didn't like quite how bright it was. I thought it was yeah. a little too bright. But now that I have it in hand, I'm kind of realizing that that's more maybe the pictures that are bringing out the color and the video that's bringing out the color. And it's not I, nearly as bad in person. At least I don't think I would like the color. I never saw it. I mean, I'm, I'm cool with this. And I realized when we saw the prototype that it was a prototype. So, And prototypes and actual production figures are a totally different right. thing. So, but the green in person isn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. It's quite nice. I like it. It's really grown on me. I kind of dig that he's bright. Me too. Um... And, you know, I don't. I, I think that the pictures made him seem a little bit brighter than what he was. A lot of people are thinking that maybe that's what the delay is all about, oh, yeah. but I don't think so. I don't think that they could have changed the figure. The figure is already in production, a little delay like this. I mean, that, they would have to mold this in a whole different plastic. They'd have to start over from scratch to get it down to a different color. That would take months. I mean, I could be wrong, but I don't think so. I think that what we're looking at here is the same one that Dan has okay. and the same one that the Foosh had and everything, all those guys. So that, that's that out of the way. Now let's talk about Demo Man. Yep. First of all, you know, we'll, we'll show the Power and the Honor catalog shot again that he comes from. Yeah. Demo Man was a concept for the overall He-Man line. He was the villain. You know, Vicor was the hero and Demo Man was the, you know, the villain. I can't wait to get my Demo Man because I was okay. playing my Attorney of Wars thing today and I was like, wow, this seems so lonely without Demo Man. <laughs> yeah, because Demo Man it makes everything better. Um, at least it makes Vicor's life better with fighting some Yeah, you know, heroes. but in the in the bios, I don't. we'll talk about that when we get to the bios, yeah. but I don't think they even fight in the bios. I think of them as, as enemies. Me too. But they haven't really said that in the bios, that they're enemies. But we'll, we'll get to that when we get to the Before bio. Before he had Vicor, I thought he was like Wonder's enemy or something. Oh, Demo Man? Yeah. Well, who knows? We'll, we'll tackle that when we get to the bio. Yeah. Let's talk about the figure. So that drawing, they just, they just totally interpreted that into this. Yeah. Interpreted? 
I mean, that, that's not a word. They just interpreted that drawing into three dimensions. I mean, everything is here from that drawing. He's got the little bone in his beard. He's got these little medallion things in his armor. He's got a little tuft of hair that comes up here. The sword is the same. That's the same. The feet. It's just, it's a perfect translation of that, that drawing. Don't you think? Mm -hmm. I think it's awesome. You know, I only like one weapon in my guy's hands unless it's like a really important weapon. Like, I... So I'm probably just going to take that out of his hand take this and just out? leave the sword in that. Just leave the sword? I, I, I prefer the sword to the yeah. ball chain. We'll talk about that when we get the accessories, though. So for this figure, they had to create some new pieces. We've got a new bicep that has, like, a little bit of hair to it and, mm -hmm. you know, little hair markings and deep veins. And then he's got new hands that are kind of bigger, and they've got these crusty nails and just they're big, you know, and he's got new feet, these four-toed feet with these huge nails. I know. They're so awesome. I know. And then he's got new leg pieces, mm -hmm. which that's the first time we have a bare leg. And uh, this is probably going to be used for, like, Ular, the Barbarian He-Man. And um, they're already being used on uh, Photog. Photog has these legs. Oh, he does? Yeah. So we'll see these legs a lot, I think, in the future. It's a, it's a good piece to have. They've eliminated the little swivel here. You know, like on the boot figures, they're able to turn. Mm -hmm. But just like Stratos, there's no swivel here. Which is fine. I think that would break it up, don't you? Yeah. It would look kind of weird to have like a line joint right in here. Did Beastman have a swivel on his... Beastman does not have a joint right here. Uh, yeah, because they have the same legs as Stratos. Mm -hmm. um, and then, of course, we've got, you know, the new uh, armor pieces and the new, you know, uh, loincloth piece. She turned it on again. What's up with the water going on up there? Maybe she's testing the She's testing plumbing. the water. Yeah, I, I did a bunch of plumbing work just today. So maybe she's testing it out. So let's... Can I get this off? Yeah, I can get it off. Um, he's got this armor piece which comes off. It's a separate piece. I might do that with my face. It's cool looking. And then the shirt piece, which I don't, you know, I don't like to take armor off. But the shirt piece comes off too. Yeah, no, I think I'll keep that on. I like that. Yeah, I think it's really cool looking. I thought that was going to be a part of the shirt piece. Yeah. But I, it's really cool that it's a separate piece. And then he's got like an arm, you know, piece with a spike coming out. And I, unless you like take the armor apart, I don't think you can get that off. The head is awesome. phenomenal. It's so good, man. A lot of people were worried again when they saw the pictures of the final product. They said, oh, maybe it's lost some details with the prototype. I think it looks great. Look at those teeth. You can see one back. He's got these, like, lines of skin kind of keeping his mouth together. And you see, like, a tooth back in there. You see that back yeah. in there? Just amazing. I think he looks so awesome. What I a great head sculpt. I can't wait to get mine. I know, dude. He's, he's a great, great figure. I mean, he's really amazing. I'm sure it'll be no time soon. That was bad. I'm sure it'll be sometime soon. I said no time. I'm sure I'm having a no time. I was like, no time. Yeah, I was starting to agree with you. I was like, what? <laughs> no time soon? That's horrible news. <laughs> um, so, okay, so the figure is great. Yeah. He's got this nice, like, green shading over the bright green, which really kind of pulls it back, I think. He's just awesome, dude. Yeah. I mean, he's so awesome looking. Uh, we'll talk about this when we get to the bio, but for a character uh, in, the, uh, in the actual Motu storyline, I'm not a huge fan of this character. But this figure is awesome, and if you treat him just as a concept figure, which I think Pixel Dan talked about a little bit, um, he's amazing. He, amazing. I was just about to say he is. He's and fantastic. I, like, I knew it. What's that? I was getting ready to say he is. Like he's amazing? No, I was getting ready to question that. Like, oh, question like, that he's amazing? Yeah. Oh, no, he's like, amazing, wait, dude. I know that. He's fantastic. Okay, so you want to talk about the accessories yeah, first? and there's something I want to say about the accessories. Sure, yeah. Now, I would have preferred, like, a real chain like they did with Megator. Well, it's, I would have liked that. This one looks like it's actually like a leather... It's supposed to be almost like a bull whip, like a leather whip yeah. type thing in here. But, I mean, I, I, I can kind of see what you're saying, like, if it was actually flexible. Because this is kind of just posed like this. I'd like it to, like, swing around. It would be cool to have that more a softer that material. Probably I know caught, what you're saying. Well, if they had that, it would definitely top the sword for me. Yeah, that would be cool, but I'm sure they have would have to deal with some like breakage and stuff yeah. like that. Plus, this is all I think one piece. Well, no, it's two pieces. This plugs into this, but you would be talking a lot of pieces to try and put a middle piece in there and glue it all together. That piece pop off. It doesn't. No, it's glued in there. Um, but his, his accessories are really cool. Yeah. They've got this like almost rusty. Yeah, exactly. Like this rusty edge to this blade. That's just really cool. It's got these little nicks in it, like it's been through a battle, and it's got this, you know lizard or dinosaur head thing on the end. Oh, I see that. Isn't that cool looking? Yeah. It's just so awesome. I mean, he's... I say this about a lot of figures, but this one is really knocking my socks off, man. Um, and we'll talk a little bit more about one of the ways I gauge how cool the figure is um, once we talk about all the accessories. 
But we'll get to that. So the accessories, we talked about the two weapons. He also comes with the little trophy head. I like the trophy The trophy head is cool. And, you know, I, I appreciate that they thought, you know, some folks are maybe going to use it as a head on figures. So let's go ahead and just put the hole in there so it can be used as a head. But it's really kind of goofy looking. <laughs> I mean, it's just... Shrunken head. I'm, I can't get it to pop all the way on there. It's but a shrunken head. It looks really goofy. So... <laughs> I, I, I appreciate that they put that in there, you though. No, it's a huge neck and then a very tiny Exactly. Head. It's so... Well, it's probably because the bottom jaw is missing, so it makes it look mm. weird. Um, but yeah, it has very much a Beetlejuice type look to it. Well, it looks kind of cool on some figures. Yeah, I, I saw a picture of some guy that put it on the Battleground yeah, Evil Inn, and it looks really like, cool. Can you tell me about that? That was that... Ken said, Dad, show me that head on that figure. Yeah, it's, it looks... The Battleground Evil Inn. It looks... You know, it looks really kind of creepy. What's going on with the water upstairs, man? She's going crazy up there. I think she's just teasing us. So, um, the, uh, it does look cool on, on that about Evil Inn, because it just looks almost like something from Willow. It's got this, like, skull head and this female body. It just looks really neat. So, there's that. And the last accessory, um, which should we talk about? Let's talk about the bio first. Yeah. And then the last accessory, because it's, oh, it's so cool. In. It's so cool. Oh, it's tied in. Exactly. Okay, so Demo Man, real name. Wait, can I try to say Ooh, it? Yeah, go ahead, because I don't want to. Something. Uh, Why can't his real name just be Demo Man? I know. Alright, so realizing his pupil Keldor had no intention of releasing him from Despondos, Bordak merged him with an extra dimensional being called Demo Man. While this saved Keldor's life, it also drove him temporarily insane and convinced him to open a portal to Despondos and lead what he thought were his people into Eternia. Hordak intended to use this ruse as a means to escape once the portal was opened, but the new merged being Skeletor was quickly defeated, defeated by Ular, the jungle He-Man, and Hordak remained trapped. Soon after, with the help of Evil Lin, Skeletor gained control of the powerful spirit, his powerful spirit inside of him, increasing his abilities tenfold. He was now the true overlord of evil and one of the most dangerous men on Eternia. A lot of good ass snacks. Well, there is some 2000X here, the merging and things like that. But what they're trying to do by doing this is merge the Alcala Skeletor mm -hmm. into this whole thing. And, you know, the Alcala Skeletor, in these awesome. original four mini comics, is awesome. Is, is, you know, he looks awesome. I think he's the coolest ever. Was that Ular right there? What's that? Yeah, this is what they call Ular. Uh -huh. um, the, what they're calling Ular now, even though it's actually the original He Man. Um, so they're trying to merge him into the storyline. And there's a, a scene, you know, where he, it, you know, he was wanting to use the power sword to open up a portal and bring his people from an Infinita over, you know, and they all look like Skeletor traveling through the portal. So that's what they're trying to say in here, where he wants to bring his people into Eternia. What I don't like about this whole thing is, first of all, they're having him merge with Demo Man to basically become Skeletor. And Demo Man drives him crazy. And so this Skeletor in these mini comics is now a deranged Skeletor that's been, or deranged Keldor merged with Demo Man. That's oh, they Keldor wacky now? and stuff. No, they don't mention him in this. I'm saying that, according to this bio, that's what this Skeletor is. He was kind of wacky in the, not in the comics, but the 2000X cartoon. He wasn't wacky. I mean, like in the first, like the episode where he had that collar stuck to him. Maybe. Oh, no, you're talking about the one where he had the belt on? Yeah. That was wacky. But what I'm saying here is, though, is that they're saying that this Skeletor is a Keldor that has been merged with Demo Man and has gone crazy. And that's what this is. I don't like that at all. No. And I don't like the whole thing of, of saying... that It's almost it's like they're trying... Yeah, I don't like the spot. Well, you know, that's fine. Whatever about that. But I don't like the fact that they're trying to say that... That Keldor's... You know, Skeletor's not really evil without Demo Man, it seems like. But Skeletor's just an evil dude. I mean, there's there shouldn't be something else influencing him and turning him evil. They try to turn it back here, and later in the bio, where they say Ular defeats him, and then Keldor is now in control of Skeletor or something like that. But what's the point of all that? You know, it just doesn't make sense. And Keldor can... is Skeletor. Exactly. I mean, Keldor is Skeletor. I, I, that's my whole theory. Thing of it is, is that Keldor, Keldor was evil. Keldor was evil, and then he gets turned. He gets the face burned off, and he just becomes even more evil. You know, he's just an evil, evil guy. Um, if you want to do the whole Keldor part of Skeletor's origin, you know, unless you more favor the original mini comics where he's the extra dimensional being or whatever. Yeah. So, the Demo Man character in the bios I don't really like. This could have easily just been a, a, a past foe, like Vicor's foe or something like that. 
the whole Demo Man merging with Skeletor, I'm just not a fan of it, you know? Mm -hmm. I like Demo Man. I think he's a cool-looking character. I think he would be great as just a Vicor villain, but we don't need him to turn yeah. into the Skeletor. Oh, can I see something else on the Power of the Honor, the back of it, real quick? Sure. Does, isn't, is that the Akala head? No, uh -uh. Oh. That's just a painting of Skeletor. Oh. You can sit there over there if you don't mind. Um, so, the last accessory, now that we've done the bio... With Demo Man, they included a, uh, since we're describing the whole original four mini comic Skeletor, they did a pack and accessory of an actual Alcala des design Skeletor head to make it look like the original mini comic Skeletor. And this head is awesome. So amazing. Like, I'm just, when I get my um, Demo Man figure, I'm just going to rip the hell out of my other one. Oh, uh, yeah, I, I, I took it off that Molar. Yeah, even though you had to go to um, work, you just said, I want to get this on my Skeletor real quick. Oh, I couldn't, yeah, yeah, exactly, I came home real quick, just so I could put the Skeletor head and then went back to work. Right. Um, it's just so amazing! This is the Skeletor I've always wanted. It's, in this figure, I was just describing on Facebook today, that it's, I think, the best value of 2011, because you get this great Demo Man figure, and then you get this head, and you put this head on the Skeletor... And it's like, it just, this has become a whole new figure to me now. Right. I, I, I'm, I'm picking up Skeletor for the first time. I mean, we did the review of him. But for the first time in ages, I'm really like gaining a new appreciation for this figure with this head. It, it covers up um, Mine the looks neck. A little, mine would look a little weirder because the mini-comic body. Mini-comic body? I have the mini-comic body. Not the mini the DC Motu. Oh, yeah, the DC versus Motu. It's not going to be that. It's the same body, it's just a slightly shade different. That would have been cool if it was the, from the original four mini comics, and then it would really blend in. Oh, yeah, 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 exactly. Well, they just they just changed the purple a right. little bit for that one, and I think it'll still match up well. I think it'll be fine. Um, and a but, question about um, that sword, is that a half sword or a full? That's a full sword. Uh, um, so it really just brings out so much in this figure. Mm -hmm. The the first Skeletor head, when you have it on there, you can still see some of the blue around the neck. Mm -hmm. But this, like, almost completely covers it up. It brings it so that the purple almost melds and into I, that. And it looks less bonnet-ish. It looks yeah. less like a bonnet, yes. That's exactly what I mean. In that, you know, you don't see his blue neck as much. Um, and the sculpt is just so intense. I mean, there's those gnarled teeth I and know, those, I like those eyes. I know, those, they go oh in my a little. God, she's so cool. And I'm a huge fan of Alcala. This is my opportunity to... I'm sorry, I'm going to show off here. I own an original Alcala page, and it, it's a Skeletor page, obviously. And so I love Alcala. So having this, it's just, it's a dream come true for me. I love the Alcala Skeletor. It's my favorite, next to the Frank Langella movie Skeletor, it's my favorite interpretation of Skeletor. Well, I think like, it's just amazing. out of everything that's not real, real, real people, like actors. Yeah, oh, yeah, I don't, any kind of drawing or interpretation or something like that, like art or cartoon or something like that, Alcala is far and above my favorite. And this head is perfect for it. It's perfect. I love it. It's it. I can't say enough good stuff I about this. I hope they like, get more Alcala heads out there. Oh, I'd love that. You know, if they did like Alcala He-Man and stuff? Man of Arms and stuff. Well, Man of Arms is pretty close. You know, the Man of Arms they did. I would like to see, in, in the one mini comic, Man of Arms sort of has like a cape thing going on. It'd be cool to see that, you know, in, included with something. I, I might put him. Uh, the Viker's got the bones. This figure's great. He's great. Uh, the, the Alcala head's great. It's, I can't say enough good things about this one. It's a shame that there was such a mess on Maddie about the whole thing. But well, well worth it. If you have to go secondary market to get it, get it. He's great. He's, they've said no more reissues, so he won't get a reissue. Um, but he's worth going after. Hey, for, awesome. one, for once, I didn't miss out on You didn't miss out. You did your like, hotlink thing. When I first saw him coming out, I was like, I'm not be able to get this thing. You, you did know? it though. Then um, I wanted to do the hot wing thing. You did the hot, you did the hot wing thing, and you went for it, man. So I guess that wraps it up, right? We covered everything. Uh, I think so. All right. So we'll head on to the goddess, right? Mm -hmm. All right. We'll see you guys. Uh, good journey and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. And um, good journey. I feel like I want to still talk about it. Oh, that's that's what I, that's what I kept thinking. Like, there's something I'm missing. The definition of a great figure for me. Remember how I just mentioned a minute ago and I wanted to get back to it? The Akala head. The Akala head's great. That's what I'm saying. Is that 
you know, with these figures, each one that they come in, I get really excited, and I open it up, and I think, wow, this figure's awesome, and I pose it around, and I put it in the shelf, and, and occasionally I'll come down, and I'll, I'll move them around, and I'll look at them and stuff. You but will? this figure? Yeah. I I'm, didn't know that. No, not play with them. I know, but you move them around. Oh, I didn't know that. No, yeah, of course. You've seen when they move in different oh, displays. Oh, yeah. Yeah, goof. I mean, like, you just move them around. Like, no, 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 no. I mean, I move them in different displays and stuff oh, like yeah. that, or change their accessories around or something like that. Um, but this one, I keep coming downstairs just to look at it. Yeah. Just to look at the Demon Man, and especially look at the Alcala Alcala. Skeletor. I just, I can't Are get enough gonna, of them. I think uh, they're great. Your mini comic stuff? Yeah, I'm going to do a whole mini comics slash comics display. You know, that's going to be the... Oh, I never We're mind. boring people at this point. we got to wrap it up. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, good journey. We'll see you guys next time.